I made it, and my friend Al did not. Through the fire I walked, through the valley where everything is evil. I lived in the land of the peril. My hopes destroyed, my destiny empty, my dreams deferred forever. I believed. I had no power to choose a challenge to contribute to the creation on this planet. So in that place I ate the dust. Logic of the doom descending as I chose to end my days upon this earth. Yet, my creator knew better than me as he gave my life was worth of his own son. He saved me all six times like the one where I tried to hang myself in the barn. Redeemed for this world to be when the neighbor took 30 seconds to come see. And I stepped off that stool. I walked back into the valley of the pit. I dug the stairs, found the tools, built the connections right back to a new life. Learned to redefine, recreate, find a path through the heart, start a spark, and through the dark. Burn hope into a beacon light, the lamp up on the hill. And through my will, I train my life to be a miracle on the mend, a spiritual attempt to be human. Hope I'll be at the 3 a.m. Depend the world heart of a true friend. Defer a few decisions made in desolate, deep drowning, desperation. Send a prayer on the wind for the 15% who died instead of me, whose creator couldn't find a way to intercede whose souls will never forge into finery as I fly forward through time. My scars start to unwind. I watch the world unfolding. Learn to trust my clay in the largest of all the hands. Beauty molding all around me. My life changing unexpectedly. My scars turn into wings. My tears blossom and sing the price of a human being.